John 11, 14 through 15 says, So Jesus had said to them plainly, Lazarus is dead, and I'm glad for your sakes I was not there, so that you may believe, but let us go to him. Well, if you're joining us in reading through the 60-day reading plan, today's reading is John 11, 1 through 20, and I encourage you to read that passage. Well, there have been a number of times when things have happened in my life that have confused me in my relation to my walk with God. Frankly, during all of them, I believed I was in God's will, and yet seemingly negative things happened. It wasn't until later that I recognized that this was all of God's plan, and he was glorified through it. This is exactly what happened in the story about Lazarus' death. The disciples thought when Jesus told them that Lazarus was sleeping that he was simply ill. Jesus let it be known that he had died and his death was part of God's plan. Well, sometimes that's difficult for us to understand. How can death or serious illness be a part of God's plan? Well, Jesus answered that in verse 15. God allows events to occur so that we might believe. In March 2008, I suffered a series of five strokes, and just prior to that time, I'd agreed to take a job that paid a significant amount of money and seemed to have had all the benefits that my last eight years or so of working would naturally have. And that plan ended with my strokes just several months later. The years in which I would have been making the most money I had earned in my career was now turning into a structure of my life. Why would God have done this? I didn't know. And as I look back now, after 10 years, everything seems to be crystal clear. He structured my life so that I might do something that I probably would not have done, ministering in ways that was not necessarily in my plans. God opened doors by making me ill. God molded my life by shutting it down. God impacted those around me because of the way he brought me through the process of recovery. And since that time, I've had three other major illnesses. Each time, God has used those to strengthen others around me. But what is God bringing into your life to strengthen you in your walk and to strengthen those around you?